In communities across New Jersey, traffic safety cameras are working to keep people safe on our roads. In 2009, the state legislature authorized a pilot program to test the effects of safety cameras in New Jersey. The City of Newark's photo enforcement program started in 2009. We have a robust program that has seen you know, significant improvements in, in right angle crashes and, and crashes overall. Um, we've also seen the citation rate come down, which means people are changing the way they drive. The whole program is designed to modify driver behavior from trying to beat the light and to actually slowing down and stopping for the light. New Jersey's roads are dangerous. There were 542 traffic fatalities in New Jersey in 2013 alone. Safety cameras have been installed in 25 communities across the state. Another 36 communities have applied to the New Jersey Department of Transportation to use safety cameras to make streets safer in their communities. The resources that we have, there's not many towns that I'm aware of that have enough resources to put an officer at any particular intersection for any uh, period of time. Um, we're responding to calls and, 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 you know, all sorts of calls for service. Traffic safety cameras are a proven and effective tool for law enforcement to effectively enforce the laws that keep us safe. Traffic safety cameras work by capturing footage of an alleged violation, which is later reviewed by a local law enforcement officer. When a vehicle approaches an intersection and sensors in the roadway determine it's possible a violation may occur, a traffic safety camera captures a 12-second video and three photos of the alleged infraction. Once the 12-second video and the three images are captured by the equipment um, that's processed by uh, the camera vendor, but then it's put into a, an, a, an electronic queue, and the Newark police officer that's been trained um, is the one who actually makes the decision. He reviews the three images, reviews the 12 second video, and then decides if it's an actual citation or not, if there's a violation that occurred at that intersection. And he then will electronically um, issue the ticket that the vendor then will mail out. When a vehicle owner receives a citation in the mail, he or she may contest the citation in court or pay the fine. Photo enforcement systems are designed to be violator funded, thus making them cost neutral for the municipality. Contract agreements vary by municipality. Revenues generated by the program can be used to support city services. But those funds then are used to fill potholes, they're for police and fire, they're for picking up garbage and keeping our streets clean. Um, you know, they're, they're used to make the lives of our citizens better. The third annual report from the New Jersey Department of Transportation shows safety cameras have greater effect over time, meaning the longer safety cameras are present at our intersections, the safer we'll be. State law outlines how traffic safety camera programs operate. Well, one of the most common questions I get about the program is regards the yellow light timing. People will say that, well, the light, yellow light wasn't long enough. It, the light isn't timed properly. You know, this isn't a violation. You know, I didn't have enough time to, uh, to go through the yellow light. Basically, my response is we have the certification from the DOT that shows the light is timed properly. They inspected the intersection. We have documentation to show that all the timing is correct. So all the city of Newark's intersections are, are conformed to both state and federal guidelines. They're certified, they were certified prior to the cameras being put up. They're certified on a yearly basis by our engineers who go out, inspect the signal timings, make sure the equipment is all working properly. According to New Jersey law, a traffic control signal monitoring system must be inspected and certified at least once every six months by a municipal engineer. This certification process must happen for the duration of the pilot program. By conforming to the pilot program's guidelines, we can ensure all safety cameras build towards our goal of reducing crashes and saving lives. The 83 New Jersey intersections with safety cameras have seen drastic reductions in red light running crashes. In 2012, communities saw 86% reduction in right angle crashes, a 58% reduction in rear end crashes, and an 83% reduction in red light running violations. The New Jersey Department of Transportation's third annual report on the impact of traffic safety cameras in the state also shows cameras have a greater effect over time, meaning we'll see larger reductions in crashes every year cameras are in place. They keep the intersection safe. Um, everybody who uses that intersection is safer and, and we're not going to take the cameras down because of that. In Springfield, looking at the data for the number of summons we've issued since the beginning of the program, it's clear that the violations are down. They've been steadily going down for the past two years, from almost 2,000 to at a point now we're at around 600. 
and it just shows that people are being more careful when they're approaching the intersections. It's public safety, that's what we do for a living. It's my job to make sure everyone in this town, whether they live here, they're just traveling through or they work here, um, to make them as safe as possible.